In this video, I'm going to talk about Apple Mail versus Spark Mail and which is better. In this video, I'm going to give you a clear breakdown of Apple Mail and Spark to help you decide which email client is better for you. So first, I'm going to present the focus and strengths of each of these services. Regarding Apple Mail, the biggest thing is going to be the seamless Apple integration, meaning that it is tightly integrated with the Apple ecosystem. So it is going to sync flawlessly across all of your Apple devices, iPhone, iPad and Mac, and other Apple apps like Contacts, Calendar and more. It has a simple and familiar interface offering a clear and clean user interface that feels familiar to Apple users. Finally, it is free and built into all Apple devices, eliminating download and subscription hassles. You will be able to sign in, create your account, and get it all set up with an Apple ID. So, regarding Spark, it has enhanced productivity features. It offers features like Smart Inbox that prioritizes important emails, snooze functionality to temporarily remove emails, and quick reply templates for faster communication. It has collaboration features, enabling shared inboxes and collaborative editings of emails useful for teamwork, and while it also has third-party integration, it is going to integrate with other services such as Dropbox, Google Drive, and cloud storage providers. For the weaknesses, Apple Mail has limited features. It lacks advanced productivity features like snooze, smart sorting, and built-in templates. Now, it has weaker collaboration. It do doesn't offer functionalities for shared inboxes or collaborative editing. And finally, it has limited integration. While it is extremely integrated into the Apple ecosystem, besides this, it is going to have little to none third-party integrations. Regarding Spark Mail, it has privacy concerns. It stores email credentials on their servers for features like push notifications, which might raise privacy concerns for some users. And finally, it has a subscription model. Free tiers offer limited features with premium features requiring a paid subscription. So to summarize, you should choose Apple Mail if you prioritize a simple, familiar interface and seamless integration with other Apple products, especially if you have a lot of other Apple devices. If you don't require advanced sorting features, features like snooze or collaborative editing, and you only need basic email functionalities and that suffices. And if you value a free and readily available solution without additional subscriptions and hassle. Finally, Spark Mail should be your primary choice if you need those advanced features for email management, you need the collaboration features like shared inboxes, and those are important for your workflow. And if you use a variety of third-party services and you want an integrated and more advanced email experience. I hope I was able to help you choose between Apple Mail and Spark. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.